Come, let us praise and hymn the nun and martyr Elizabeth, a faithful warrior in Christ's army, an illustrious star which supernaturally arose in the west and finished its course in the east, and which by its appearance gave light to the darkness of this godless age, only to shine even more brightly afterward in the kingdom of Christ our God, for he is the king of glory, the day spring of all dawns. Come, let us praise and hymn the nun and martyr Elizabeth, a faithful warrior in Christ's army, an illustrious star which supernaturally arose in the west and finished its course in the east, and which by its appearance gave light to the darkness of this godless age, only to shine even more brightly afterwards in the kingdom of Christ our God, for he is the king of glory, the day spring of all dawns. Tell us, O Elizabeth, what mysteries thou dost now behold, the things which thou didst desire to see from thy youth, and for whose sake thou didst forsake the imaginary pleasures of this passing life, and didst account as nothing the malice of thy tormentors. Thus may we also be incurably wounded by this blessed desire, and having suffered well the pain of this salutary sickness, may we ignore what is temporal in order to obtain eternal good things. O witnesses of the Lord, ye holy martyrs, clear mirrors of the divine glory, if the night of godlessness had not been illumined by the light of your struggles, how would we have seen the path to salvation? And if the Russian land had not been made up fertile by your blood, how would it have been kept from drying up and becoming like a barren desert? Pray to the Lord now that he may visit this vineyard, and in his mercy may not abandon his inheritance, that he may strengthen us in temptations, yet to come and in sorrowful times, so as to vouchsafe even us sinners to take up the struggles as best we are able, that by this little labor we may bear witness to the greatness of his glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord's judgment hath come upon the Russian land. Love hath become scarce, and mercy hath waned. Spare our suffering fatherland, O Lord, through the prayers of St. Elizabeth and of all the new martyrs, and for the sake of their precious sufferings. Grant the Russian people at least a little more time for repentance, as once with the Ninevites. And preserve, O Lord, thy little flock, the holy church, that according to thy promise the gates of hell may not prevail against it. And may we sing the praises of thy wonderful saints, by whose blood the Russian land hath been hallowed and the church hath been strengthened. While resplendent in royal glory on earth, thou didst have the kingdom of God within thyself, O Grand Duchess Elizabeth. Therefore thou art rightly called a royal martyr, and thou hast received a most precious crown from Christ, the King of glory, with whom thou dost now reign. The kingdom of heaven is near, for the Lord doth reign in his saints. Do thou entreat him, O royal martyr Elizabeth, to deliver us for the sake of our repentance from the tyranny of the demons, and to establish his kingdom forever in our souls. May the Lord, who accepteth the glory of the angels and the testimony of the saints, accept also our repentance now. May he turn away his righteous wrath from our fatherland, through the prayers of the royal martyr Elizabeth, and may he be merciful to those who glorify her. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Take account of us who are here and who pray to thee, O Elizabeth. Look down from that splendid chamber wherein thou dost rest with the saints. See if there are many among us who are good and great, or wise, or strong, or righteous. From the four winds we have been gathered here together. We are like sailors of a ship, utterly worn out by the storms of the sea of life. Our helms have been broken by the tempests of the passions. Our sails are torn to pieces by violent adverse winds. Moreover, we have been pierced by the shoals of demonic devices, and we have almost perished in the deep, weighed down by our iniquities. Though we are useless, we have been spared by thy prayers, as we bring to the Lord our heartfelt repentance. We beseech thee, our teacher, guide us to the right course, whereby we may reach the calm and most desired harbor, which is the kingdom of God. Concealing the rank of a princess with humility, O divinely wise Elizabeth, thou didst honor Christ with the twofold service of Martha and Mary. Having purified thyself by charitable works, patience, and love, thou wast brought to God as an offering of righteousness. As we venerate thy virtuous way of life and thy sufferings, we earnestly ask thee, as our true teacher, O holy martyr and grand duchess Elizabeth, entreat Christ our God to save and enlighten our souls. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen.